Burn Unit with your host, the Amazing Jonathan. Hi, this is the Amazing Jonathan, and this is Burn Unit. We are on the road. Uh, this week we are in my Los Angeles house backyard, and we're taping two shows here with my two best friends, Danny Sylvester, known as Sylvester the Jester, the human cartoon, and Brian Gillis, one of Johnny Carson's very favorite magicians, and wait till you see what they can do. Uh, we'll be back with more On the Road Burn Unit after this. Guests that are on the Burn Unit stay at the lovely Sad Clown Motel, located off the interstate. Yes, we are open during construction. Enjoy our amenities such as sinks, toilets, and even the deluxe suite, which has a bathtub, located right across from Maggie's Diner, where you can get some of the best food in the county. Yes, we have gotten rid of the spiders. They're gone. We are back with Burn Unit. Welcome back, and uh, it's a great treat to have our next guest on. I've always dreamt that he would come to Las Vegas to do it, but he's a lazy motherfucker, and he won't come. And he's always out of the country, <laughs> always out of the country, working in various other countries. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> like Texas and Utah. And, but no, he travels Americans. all over the world. He's got a big uh, world base following, and he is known as the Human Cartoon. Ladies and gentlemen, Sylvester the Jester <laughs> in the house, outside Thank the you. house. <laughs> outside the house. So, hey, so, hey. T- <laughs> I was mm. word. Haley, mm-hmm. inside the house. <laughs> So, um, give them an example of what you do, Danny. This, the human, anything a cartoon can do, Danny can do it as well. And uh, literally, I, he's told me that he was going to create some of the things that he's going to create. And I, I just, do manicures. I just said, cool. oh, yeah. Okay. I just said bullshit. <laughs> he can't here. do it, but he can do it. Un fucking believable. I was supposed to do it again. I was supposed to do the sound effect. I didn't do it. Okay. Oh no 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 no. Hey, Ooga! There. All right. He's wild. okay for that's fully hard. Is still yeah. here. That's his yeah. first try. So uh, there's nobody doing what Danny does. He's probably the most original entertainer in the world. I was going to say aside from myself, but I use stock lines. Every <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't though. But he makes everything up and he creates it all in his. His little garage slash house. His <laughs> wife won't even live with him because he's an artiste. And if you gave Danny all the money in the world, he would be living exactly like he's living now, but maybe with more paints and yeah, more yeah, latex, yeah. better grade latex. Right. But uh, he is uh, probably my favorite creative entertainer in the world. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, coming from him, that's Yeah, a, I say, that, I say that about every guest. Oh. Uh, no, seriously, uh, you, you blow my mind. He once, one time he told me that he was going to blow a hole through his body and you could see through his body after he's done it and I'm like, uh-huh, who's doing drugs here, me or him? We all know the answer to that one. Yeah, so uh, he did it. He actually did it. He was able to blow a, a hole through his body and you could actually, I got pollen all over me. I'm not going to do that here. I'm not going to do that. You got pollen all over you too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, he's got a bag of tricks. Oh, I wanted to see if I had any other tricks. Earlier, remember we were eating? Yeah, we had corn. We barbecued out here and uh, I was telling him that he had corn stuck in his teeth and get it out before the interview. And I forgot to. Like, so, I just go. Uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a half an ear there. That's eerie. Yeah, that is. It's still your line. Uh-oh. Is that Uh-oh. just that there? <laughs> Someone could make their living off of just selling what you just saw and a comfortable living. And he doesn't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm poor. Give your dollars to me. Yeah, they are. Um, they are now. He's selling some stuff. He's got a branding iron that uh, is selling very, very. It's a hot item on the market, I should say. Yeah, this is yeah. burn unit. Do, do, do burn I, unit. Yeah. Want to show them this that? should be actually. I should have one of these for the show, but they're so Yeah, remember you were talking about expensive. getting a tattoo. Yeah, they're very. I want a tattoo. You want? This is way better than. That. Close your eyes. This is going to be right. great. Just give right. your arm. We're going to okay. give you a nice tattoo. What are you do? Right. There. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, it looks good though. Look at that. Good, it yeah. didn't work out as good as I wanted, but it's That's the first time. Good. What That's the nice. heck? I've, <laughs> I've never seen that done before, so it kind of scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <sighs> it burned my skin. 
So that's it. <laughs> that that there he's selling. He's actually selling those. And uh, if you've ever seen the spark from fingertips, that's also his creation. Yeah. If you're a magic buff, he's invented the the twenty foot pole. That, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that's kind of a nifty thing. Yeah, that's one of the. But he sold the rights to it. Oh, that's beautiful. That's backwards. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Uh, uh, here's a robot taking a pee. Whoa. And here's an Eskimo taking a pee. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, still got it. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it too, buddy. I love you. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Danny Sylvester, we're going to go into the history of you. When was the first time that you were aware of there's magic in the world? What is that? What is the magician's what you, magic you know, shop? My, no, no. My, I had an uncle who would do this one for us, you know. And I yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. Touchy, was, touchy. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Check this out. No, um, that, you know, I'd seen magic tricks lots of times before and until. Can and you even, just explain how you did that? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? All how right. about this in here? Ah, oh, God! Whoa! whoa. Okay. Um, yeah, I took it a little further. But anyway, uh, <laughs> he takes everything a little further. You know my pencil up the nose? Yeah. Well, you should see his version I don't of it. If I have a pencil here, I don't know, but his version of pencil up the nose makes mine look like a magic trick. Isn't it? No. Oh, what's this one? <laughs> oh God! Oh! Oh, oh, I think I'm doing this wrong. Mm, mm, mm. That's beautiful. That's oh. beautiful. Oh, and it clears the sinuses out. It's way better than drifting. Yeah. Did, did, can you, can you, yeah. did you get that? that stuff did you, you get that nice and close? <laughs> Whenever he does a trick like that, I want you to close in on it because you can't see what he's doing. Danny, uh, so so you, you said an uncle so, yeah, you so, No, he didn't really start me out. That was the first. You said what was the first magic trick I ever saw, and that was that one that yeah. he did. And then, um, I, I don't know, I was like really depressed for a while. I wanted to play sports, you know, and I wanted to be like a lot of kids that play. And, but you it were just different. didn't work out. You were different. Yeah, and then I accidentally invented this magic trick, and I... And it was, I told the story before, there was a, a crack on a tile in the bathroom. And I go, oh man, I'm going to get in trouble for that. And I touched it and it moved. And I go, what the? And it turned out to be a hair. And I thought, well, from this far, I can't see it. And I taped it to an Ace of Spades, went down and said, hey, Dad, what's your favorite card? And he goes, Ace of Spades. And, and I said, watch this. And all I did was wave my hand over. And of course, I was just grabbing the hair with my fingers. I pulled the Ace out of the center and then made it go back down in. And he goes... That's good. You're doing that with your thumb, aren't you? And I turned it around backwards. I did it again. And my dad goes, go like this. And I said, go like that. No, do it again. I went, okay, I got to wave over there. You know, I was just picking up. And I, and my dad, this is like fooling God. He just flopped down on his bed and goes, I have no idea how you're doing that. And he was, would be Jesus, man. Yeah, he would be Jesus. Yeah, yeah, and it was just... Wow, and it was just from I never a hair, got that from my hair. Yeah. It wasn't any invisible wires. No, the I didn't even know there was such a thing as yeah. invisible through. But but at that time, it, that happened, and I, I'd never had that feeling before. Like I did something that fooled the old man. You know, yeah, the, usually he was beating you, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's dead now. Yeah, so it, well, hope it all it karma. Yeah, yeah. No. Anyway, but uh, yeah, Danny had a little rough upbringing, and that magic probably saved him, like it saved me through school That's with true. my academic grades. Being uh, much so. like Haley's, <laughs> well, she just flipped me off. A twelve-year-old just flipped me off. Uh, yeah, I wasn't very uh, bright in school, and so that magic helped us through. Really, really. Yeah, yeah. Go figure, huh? But uh, it did. I got all the girls, and uh, you got all the guys, and it all worked out for for both. Just for us. you. You're the only guy. Don't you know, my teeth. I'm drinking. You should see, man. His mm. his anus is really ripped. He works on it. <laughs> <laughs> you do. He rips my. He rips my anus. <laughs> No, so, no, no, no. so okay, so let's catch up with now. So now you know magic, you go to school and you start doing it in school. And do they have a magic shop near your house? No. He's from Ohio. The, yeah, the closest magic shop is in Cleveland. And I tried to drive there once in my 1961 Volvo. Volvo. <laughs> yeah, Volvo. It was, <laughs> no, no. No, and it, uh, it died on the way there. My dad was really pissed off. Your dad's pissed off about yeah, everything. It cost, well, it cost 90 bucks for to get a tow home. And... Uh, yeah, so I just had to make stuff up myself, just had to make everything myself, and I did for the longest time, and then he found this place where you could get lessons on sleight of hand. Who found it? My dad, he found it, he said, here, listen, why don't you go do, and I and went. And then when he took the courses, he beat you for taking No, them. no, 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 he he actually was, was proud of me, because I was 
better than the other kids in the class. And I, as a matter of fact, this guy, he took the, he taught us coins to the table. Remember that trick? Yeah. You know? He taught us that one, and afterwards, all three of us students. Now it's done. Yeah, with the hole. It didn't, <laughs> shit, that's the easy that's one. Easy. <laughs> yeah. And he took his, this guy, after I, I did mine, he took his coins and slammed them on the table. And I was like, well, what did I do? And he turned to his wife and said, I've been doing this for 20 years, and this kid does it as good as me in a week. And again, I got that feeling like, wow, I'm finally... It's called something. conceit. Yeah, conceit, <laughs> right. <laughs> but it was... He learned that in spades. Yeah. So, uh, so okay, so you have mat natural knack at magic, which I never had. Uh, I, my re motto was never resort to cheap skill. <laughs> and uh, Danny had the real skill, and he made up a move called Sylvester's Pitch, which only a few magicians in the world can do because... The practice is so intensive, but when you get it down, it's the most amazing magic move that I've ever seen. Uh, really? Yeah. Should we do that? Or? Can you do it? Let me see. I'd have to. Can you I stand up? Yeah, can you can, can stand you up. Okay? Yeah, we have uh, the technology for you to oh, stand that's up. That's great. We can... Bionic legs. Look at that. that. Can you see this? That's an invisible silver dollar. I don't know if you can see it. it's right, right there. Look really close. Now, what I'll do is I'll take this. And basically, here's the entire move. I put it in my pocket. It's not much of a move, except for the fact that it comes back like that. I'll do it again. You'd swear I was taking this coin right here and putting it in my, this one right here. That's one. It looks like I put it, sometimes I don't. I put it in my mouth. I cheat when I do Look, there's two of them. That's why. It's okay. Sometimes there's three of them, three coins, and they go in the pocket. You can hear them, go, except for there's a few more right there. Actually, there's way more than more. There's another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And all those, and they could all go right. Yeah, here's a few more. Like, that's kind of the Sylvester pitch. That's what you do with it, like, stuff like that. And you can do, Whoa, what's that in your ear over there? Like, and then you can, whoa, here's a big one like that, a big, and then you can do it with all kinds of crazy stuff. There, here's another one like, you know, stuff like that. That's the Sylvester Pinch. Now, can you show them what you're doing? Or is that ruining the trick? Or can you can you explain to them? Because that's the real magic is, is what he's doing is almost impossible, but uh, he's, well, it's, you it's, sell who's the secret. Who's seeing this? Who's, yeah, it's, it's 90, people. 90, 90 people. 90 <laughs> people. Ninety. No, I don't want to give it away. All right, that, he doesn't that, want to give it away. But I, I'd, I'd be. So why don't you give him? Why don't you give him the web address? No, are there? Oh. oh yeah, you could go to uh, SylvesterTheGesture.com and you could buy a, a DVD and learn how to do it for yourself. And and it's not just with coins. It yeah, works, you can it do, works you can do with, with anything. Everything. Anything. I could yeah. do it with a like this big bottle of water right here. Even it sounds impossible, but here let me just take this bottle of water right here and do this. Here, watch. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> it's very cool. So a lot of magicians are trying to learn that, but uh, it's very cool because they buy it and they don't do it. You get the best of both worlds. You don't have a whole lot of people out there doing yes, it, yes, but you can still true. sell it to them so yeah. that they can get it home and go, what the fuck? There's no way I can do it's this. It's like the magic beans. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. He's sell them this and you can run 100 miles an hour. Yeah, so he's got a few things out of the market. And then he invented the... the first thing you invented, I think the big one was the 10 foot pole, right? Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. I sold that though right away because yeah. I needed the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the guy made quite a few after products with it, and yeah, he's just, living in a big house now here, and then he's got, yeah, the, don't rub yeah, it in, sorry about yeah, but uh, yeah, he produces a 10 foot pole from a small object like a hat or a pocket. I have something else new that's like that. What is it? The Insto Mallet. Have you seen that? I, I have. I've told Gallagher about this and he's very excited and he wants, I it's want you a, to make Here it is. And this is a Sylvester the Jester's Insto Mallet. And I don't know if you could see this. And I carry it right to inside here. It's kind of a really cool mallet. It's a piece of cardboard attached to it. That's not supposed to be. Order in the court! That's amazing. Okay. That's awesome. And he's a fat, show him the head of the mallet. He's also an one of the most amazing artists in the world. He, yeah, paint, yeah. he paints things to look real. He doesn't do surreal pussy art. He actually can do uh, portraits and cartoons, and he's an amazing artist. And I want to be an amazing artist too. <laughs> you are. You I'm are. Not, I'm not. You just. You and he can draw better than me. Well, you he's just have tall. to hang out with people who are really lame and make you feel better. About That's it. right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'm feeling better already yeah, just being around you. Right. So yeah, so he he can draw and paint, and we'll show you some of his drawings. Uh, I'll get them up there online, so we'll put them in for yeah, you. Yeah, he did a see. couple of you. I yeah, he did the cover to my book, and he did uh, some very interesting satanic pictures of me for the yeah, right, right, right. And uh, 
Yeah. Danny and I, Danny and I used to, when I lived in we LA, lived we lived in my garage and we created all kinds of stuff during my, this is, I call it my creative period. Yeah, also uh, known as his dangerous period. I'd walk through the door, oh, yeah. and a little bucket of nails would fall and hit me in the head. And he'd yeah. laugh yeah, and yeah, pull, yeah, yeah. pulling these nails out using the claw hammer. To I, once, <laughs> I once hit in the bathroom, I once hit in the bathroom for about two and a half hours while Danny tried to catch me and get me out because I... What did I do? Oh, there's this foam insulation. Once you got it on your hands, it would never right. ever come off. You'd have to wait weeks before this thing come. It was just the most miserable, torturous yeah. stuff. And we finally got it off our hands after about two weeks. And, and then I, I for the next it, two or three weeks, tried to devise ways to make each other accidentally put it on. Yeah, and I put a, I fill a tube up with it and told Danny, hey, I'm gonna show you a trick. Put your hand through this tube. And when he did, he, he was back to square one with yeah. it. And, uh, and the best one is still a rubber glove with it. So here, put these gloves on so you won't get that stuff on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and there was also the talcum powder over the door. When yeah. you walk through the garage door, uh, you would <clears throat> break a balloon of talcum powder, which would fall on your face and make you completely white. We had a lot of stuff. Well, I think the thing that you were maddest about was when I sprayed that apple scent room freshener oh, yeah, yeah. on your face. Yeah, and, in my eye. Yeah, right, not knowing right, it would be eye. kind of like a mace-like effect. I was young. <laughs> we didn't know. How do you know until you try stuff like yeah, that if out? Yeah, if you go like through a store with Jonathan, he may be hide, lurking behind you with all these girly perfumes spraying <laughs> you, and, and you're going, where did that smell come from? I did that you yesterday know? to Brian at Brian. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Brian kind of likes that kind yeah, of stuff. Got, yeah, but you got to find the worst smelling. You know if it's in a purplish bottle that it's cheap. And that's the one you grab, the purple bottle, and just spray them as they're walking forward so they don't smell how much you're putting on them. The scent is going be behind them until they stop and it all catches up. And then it's like instant girl. <laughs> so what else you got from your bag of tricks? Man? Uh, I, don't, I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I know the box is full of stuff, but I can't do Not everything is... Uh... You got to show them the vest. Danny does... This is, a, this is a kind of a new thing for how to test batteries. Okay, you know a lot of people you'd have to go get a scientist or something like that. No, you could just use your tongue. Look. Okay, that's a good one. That means the battery's good. Good one. He's combined the tongue with the spark thing. Beautiful. Three of his own inventions combined. Just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, can't do that now. Two of his own inventions. <laughs> All right, screwed that one. I'm supposed to look like this. Do you have your grin? That's it. Isn't that scary? <laughs> it's horrifying. Even he invented this. <laughs> <laughs> that was right in his garage, right yeah, here. That happened. invented that, and it makes kids cry. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> he did it at kids' birthday parties, and they started screaming. Yeah, it wasn't really Liberty Life. I was I wasn't paid to perform there. I just showed up to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and to get rid of some crack for me. <laughs> this first one's free. Yeah, he had that. You have that picture from uh, what was that movie? I was looking at it every day on the wall. What was that? Dead Alive or something like that. Oh, yeah, 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 the poster I have. Yeah, and there's yeah. a dog going like this and stretching right. his mouth out. And that's right. what put the idea in my head. And it was a great one. And we used to sit in the garage, and Danny has, uh, what do you call it, Narc kind of borderline narcolepsy. Well, we'd be working for days and days at a time, too. Yeah, and I would just, like, fall over onto the floor. Yeah, and, and so... <laughs> And I'd wake up and he'd be there, you know. I'd be there, or, or Danny would be working really intently on something, and I'd be drilling near his head. And at one time, I, I spun his hair with my finger, right. and he thought it was caught in the, my drill, which is right next to him, <laughs> and he freaked out. Because I actually did that one time. I was working with a Dremel, and I had long hair at the time. It, the, it was a wire brush. <laughs> <laughs> right? uh, it grabbed my hair, went uh, wham, and I actually knocked myself almost unconscious because it moved up and hit me in the head so fast. We've had some bad shop accidents. I've drilled a hole through my hand. Uh, best shop I think accident. I've drilled a hole through your hand too. <laughs> best shop accident was somebody moving a ladder. I, this was during the haunted house. There was a <laughs> drill on top of the ladder. Someone left it, and oh. they went to move the ladder, and it was one of those big craftsman drills and when they moved the ladder it came and hit him right in the head and knocked him out oh, oh man. good one did you like the Jim Carrey thing with the drill sticking out of his neck? no he didn't do anything but, but pass out he was out cold <laughs> so uh, what is the worst show you've ever done where were you when so, you I've had a few of I think this one I did I'm just I'm going to Bakersfield in um, Gateway on, to Fresno on folks. the 8th on the 8th I got a show up there at the um, oh, I 
I can't even remember what the place is called now. But anyway, um, I did this show. This guy, this agent sent me there, and it was all these sh old guys. And I just remember that show, how horrible it was. Old men? Yeah, all old men. Like bankers? Know? Right, and I have all these lines that are like directed to girls, you know, with the eyeballs bugging out and all this stuff, and nothing was like working. It was, that was. That was my worst. I tried to not remember that show. <laughs> yeah. And then there was the best shows, the best moments. One I remember was you winning the championship every year in, in Monte Carlo in the south of France. They give away, what's the award called? The, um, the Baguette d'Or. Baguette d'Or Award. And it's the... Golden One. Is what yeah, it's the Golden One. And it's the biggest, one of the biggest honors of all to win this. And... Uh, I remember watching you on television winning the award, and it was cool because he actually cried a little bit when he won the award, and it looked good because he was so shocked. He was like taken aback by it. It was a great yeah, moment. Yeah, I know. I just didn't expect to it win. It was a great moment. And I, I, and I could have not won because uh, if it wasn't for Gary Gillette, I guess. Because yeah, we just talked about Gary in our last podcast. Yeah, he I? said, he told me that they, they were unanimous <clears throat> that they wanted me, but they weren't sure that what I was doing was magic. They said, we like this guy, but we're not sure if what he's doing is magic. And Gary said, it is. It's just a completely different kind of magic. If he hadn't said that to them, maybe I'd got nothing. Yeah. And uh, here's another example of how Dan treats. Later, after winning the award, I, I'm climbing in the back of his van, and there's all kinds of Burger King crap and wrappers. And <laughs> what's laying in the back is the award. Laying in the back of your van, <laughs> set up on a mantle, like most people would put it. Uh, you had it in the back of your van, just you didn't even probably know it was back there. It was just I think my around. mantle was back there, too. <laughs> your mantle was back there. didn't have, you a, didn't have a mantle. mantle. Around, so. Yeah, so I mean, you care about the award, but that's care about the art more. Yeah, and, well, uh, I was also, uh, I have it sitting up now because I have other places, you know, where it's not Next to your other right. awards, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. yeah. You've also won the World Magic Award, which uh, uh, I've won a few times, but you actually got the award, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about there, World Magic Did Award. Did you win the World Magic Award? No, yeah, that's Brian, Brian. Was that Brian winning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they never give it to friend. you. Yeah, but they don't give it. They don't give you the award anyway. <laughs> yeah. But yo, well, I'm thinking of the World's Wildest Magic. World's, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that was the show uh, Gary Roulette produced, too. Right. And you might have seen Danny on that. And uh, myself. Gary Roulette is the guy that brought all the magic. Did you do World's Greatest Magic? I, no, I you did were too wild for that. I did World's Wildest Magic and then Champions of Magic. That Champions was the one where the Monaco thing. Right. I also did. I hung out with Princess Stephanie. Did yeah. you? Yeah, yeah I she did. was very cool. I hung out with Princess Stephanie when she lived in L.A. Too. Oh, that's and, right. He was a he was a disco. Made board. out with her. Even. You made out with Princess Stephanie? <laughs> did you? That's she pretty cool. You can, anybody can make out with Princess uh, Stephanie. I, I probably made out with her too. <laughs> I got in trouble with her. I know that the king. Didn't like me blowing the air horn in her oh, ear. No, outside the palace, he was trying to sleep. Stephanie and I were sneaking up behind people with an air horn. Apparently, we thought it was funny just to scare them. And the guards came out. And said, Both of you, stop it! And you were to address her as Princess Stephanie. I couldn't call her Stephanie. They told me I could. It had to be Princess Stephanie. Yeah, it's yeah. Princess. Would you another? Would you like another line, Princess Stephanie? <laughs> So tell us some more about your history then. So what is your what do you con consider to be your biggest achievement in magic? The best thing that you've done so far. I, I, was it the Monaco I, Award or did you, was it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think of the awards. You know, I think of awards as kind of like my award was kind of like luck. You know, just being in the right time, having a good show on that day. There's, I won um, what was it, uh, PCAM award too, and and I, I could have went there and that's had a, a bad PCMA, day. That's PC a, that's Pacific the board Coast. that goes in your computer. No, folks. no, no. Pacific yeah. Coast Association of Magicians Award, ah. and uh, and that's a nice award too. But you know, I, I think awards are kind of luck. I think the the main thing that I'm proud most proud of is to create a character that was new and uh, you know that was it was like what I thought of when I was a kid. Even before I liked magic, I said, "Wow, how could you be a cartoon on stage in yeah. real life?" A lot of people in the United States don't understand the character because it's so ingenious. That it, it, it's lost on a lot of people here, but the other countries seem to catch on right away. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not because of cartoons so much; it's because of clowns. Because in, in other countries like France and especially Spain and, and Russia and China, they have like vampire clowns, bizarre clowns that yeah. aren't for and kids. And variety is the king in yeah, other in countries. Right, right. Whereas here, it's 
you don't see variety like we should. I mean, now Jay you're, Leno you're either the top guy or you're the player. Well, guy. yeah, there's only room for like one prop comic, Carrot Top. There's only room for one big magician. You know, it seems amazing, like, John. Yeah, comic magician. That would be me. <laughs> I happened to snag that bucket title because nobody wanted it, <laughs> so I got in there with it. So yeah, so so in consequence, Danny has to travel all over the world to get uh, the enjoyment he, he deserves from his show. I mean, not to say he doesn't play here well. To, he's at the Magic Castle all the time, and uh, uh, that's not an easy gig to get, as I'm finding out. <laughs> at the Magic Castle. Yeah. You think that they would want me there. I, the Jack's, every time I go in there, they're, I want to book you, man. But he never does. Yeah. So like, yeah, last night I pressed him on it. I said, okay, I don't want to book anymore. me much anymore either. The last time I played there was two years ago. And the, and, the, and the place caught on, mysteriously caught on fire the next day I was there. Listen, we're going to sh- go to a commercial and we're going to come back and I'm going to have Danny show you uh, some something he made that makes this. Uh, wait for the break. Something that he made that makes the show uh, loud and annoying. We'll be right back. You're about to be mesmerized. It's yellow. It's phallic. It's the magical gravity sensation that's sweeping the nation. It's Banana She! Like, I don't know what it is. It's like the coolest thing ever. I, I don't know, but like, I can do it. You don't need training. You barely need practice. You don't even need hands. Banana Shiggy! Once you watch our instructional mind blowing DVD, you'll learn moves like the Thunder Noodle Wong, the Duty Poop Shoot, the Hippity Flippity, and many, many more. Buy a bunch to up your skills to the max. Guys, please. It's my first time. It totally works. We are back with Burn Unit on the road. We are talking with Danny Sylvester Aka, aka Dan- Sylvester the Jester. Aka. At your cervix. Yes. So. Uh, I've noticed you are weren't wearing two watches. What's the deal with that? Both Mickey I'm a two timer. <laughs> oh, but somebody slipped me a Mickey. I guess I have too much time with my hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> I to do we're back from a commercial and we are sitting. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Danny on my birthday gave me a really, really cool birthday present. Uh, it was an original Sylvester the Jester effect where he created something that makes it look like I chopped my arm in half. And I was so excited. I remember Weird Al was at that party, and we showed it off to everybody. And, and uh, Judy Tenuta's Judy mother Tenuta. ran into the, her mom ran into the glass. Oh, that's right. And you, she freaked the out. glass that you've run into <laughs> yeah, yourself a with carrying a whole <laughs> tray of barbecue, not knowing that the screen was closed. And I saw Danny's luck of shock as everything smashed. Love <laughs> you loved it. Nothing funnier than seeing somebody... Uh, Get a bloody nose. No, yeah. go into a glass door and you're on the other side. It's a rare view of people's uh, look of surprise and flattened face. It's a great thing. Uh, anyway, so he made me this birthday. And he did it on television. I did a really cool version of it. Uh, I took it on TV, remember? And I had uh, Sandra was in a white dress and I chopped her arm off. And he's designed blood that just ruined the dress. It was like a prom dress. Afterwards, and, they, and uh, they so didn't show it or something. What was they it? did show it. They showed it. They didn't edit it. It was. Uh, oh, come on, I've never seen it. You haven't seen that? No, it was, on the, seen it. was on the World's Greatest Magic, oh, and uh, you were on that show. That's why. Oh. So um, sh- this is part of it. And then <laughs> the funny part is, I didn't tell you the punchline. He took it away after he gave me the birthday present. He just Such said, S-O-P. "You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to improve it, and I'll make you one." And I, no, that the was truth about twenty is, years ago. The truth is, uh, it it. it it broke about three times, and I did need to improve it. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out how to improve it because it did have this jamming problem. Remember? Every so, time someone knocked on the door, or rang the doorbell, yeah. I was like, "It's my thing for from then." <laughs> okay, look. He's, okay, look. Here, he's fixed you can it. try it. Try it again. Okay, here's here's what I want you to do. Okay. Just just not. I'm sorry. Now it's a little bit broken now, so I'm not sure. That's that's so he doesn't have to, to give it to me. Right. So it's not. I don't know if it's gonna. Exactly work just right. It can oh, just kind of right. 
relax your sound. This should, I don't know why, I see it's kind of skewed there. Which uh, is, it's that doesn't me. seem I remember right. you doing this to somebody and it hurt them for real at yeah. the party. Kind of, just kind of relax. Just okay. Kind of bring your arm this way. Tell this, me stories. This, yeah, bring your arm out a little bit. Your arm's going right. too far. All right, right there. Right about, right about. Ow! Oh! Okay, just kind of you know what? Relax. I feel that for real, Danny. Yeah, you should, fellas. Wait, wait. What the heck? Oh. Relax, relax. Oh. <laughs> it's not working. You know what? I'm glad that he never gave me this bag. Yeah. What's the matter with it? It's just hurting it's, me. It's just, it, oh, wait a minute, I see why. Alright, try it now. No. <laughs> Here, I don't know. Here, you, you, you try it to me. Just gladly. Just, just. Ha! Yeah, you're right. It's, 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 well, it's, I guess it's still screwed up. No, because it works. He's just doing this so he doesn't have to give no, it to no. me. Okay, try it again. I don't know what's the matter with it. Just. No, it's, it's, it's. it's what it, is it? I don't know. I don't. He just doesn't want to give it to me. No. <laughs> I've seen him do this a hundred times and. It's, oh, gee, wait, wait. I have no idea. I think I figured it out. I've seen you do shows like this. It's very funny. Okay, let me, let me try it once more. I don't, I don't know. Here, stick your arm in there again. And just kind of, little, kind of relax it. And then You're going to have to edit that. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. There you go. Back to normal. Thank you. There you go. Look at the camera. Camera woman. <laughs> camera, camera woman? <laughs> Does that look good? That would have been better with blue. <laughs> with water, man. That's pretty good. Then. Uh, Does it look good? Red food coloring. I know, red food coloring. You gotta tell me how to bloody up an effect. It's a 12 year old. Tell me how to bloody up an effect. I'm the blood man. Oh, Cuckoo Do you think we do? Is it going to play out? Oh, it's not working then. Just kidding. Yeah, it really wasn't working. <laughs> it made it look like when it did work. It made it all bit. the more scarier. Dude! <laughs> Come on. Uh, so, all right, so make some noises for us. Danny, wait a minute, well, first let me explain. He doesn't use the sound man because the sound man could not keep up with the shit sound cues he has. Yeah. And, uh, and it costs no, money. Yeah, and it costs <laughs> money. And he, he just couldn't do it. He can barely do it with the thing he invented. That's how many sound effects he has. Show him what to, what, how you make the noises. Okay, so, and as he's doing all the magic and moves with his hands, he actually has to play an instrument that he created that makes the sound effects that he uses in the show. Oh. And it's, it's like that. It's this thing right here. Yeah, it's a now, This thing isn't this. this. This is a gizmo that I invented that makes smoke. Okay, but this... This is the sound vest. Here, let me. Uh, He's had to, he has to wear this. Hook a battery. What's really cool is getting this through TSA. That's a tough part. It's like a bulletproof vest. Yeah, doesn't it? And let me put a piece of tape over here and see if I can turn this on. You just do that. Plug that in there like that. And then he wears Click it. on this. And he plays it like a cartoon. Oh. And then. Well, hello there. Hammer. Where's your Where's your auga? Auga is down down here on my feet. See these things right here. Just, just what? Put this, yeah, yeah, I didn't know I had feet. Yeah, then. yeah. This This is a magnet on the speaker, so. And, and that's one. And then where's the other ones right here? This one's on my other foot over here. Ah. So if I flick this, you have this, to lift your foot to the back of this. No, thing. no. I put magnet on my shoe, and then if I flick this oh. switch, it. It changes it, and, right? And then, uh, and then there's a magnet back there. Wait, do that one again. Do that one again. Do that one again. Yeah, that's, that's the steam loud. coming yeah, out of right, here. Right, that's the steam coming. So do that again. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh God, I'm thirsty. Get the ladder that one. Yeah, it's loud. And then, let me see, I flick this, and then. This doesn't patch into a sound. <laughs> How did you get it that loud? Oh, I must have the volume up. That's all. <laughs> wow. That's yeah. yeah, so I could turn the. Where is the. Uh, see, when I'm wearing it, I could do it all without hardly even any movement. So, so there's a million buttons under here. Yeah, so Remember. So. And then this, this sits on my body like, like that and then this oh that's a good one oh yeah i like that one 
And then this is a new one I put in for the for the when I pull the pole out of my hat. <laughs> what is it? This is it. Just that trumpet sound when the pole goes wrong. He's automatic. He appreciates laugh. cartoons <laughs> yeah. more than anyone else in the world. You are right. Now, what, else, yeah. what, what other kind of a? Oh, then there's a other kind of a weird sound. Oh, the time bomb. Yeah, they like that when the yeah. TSA opens it up. <laughs> what does TSA say when they say that? When they see this? You know, I never really had any problems with them because you never this, had them. No, I'm mean, the very first time, and it says this is Sylvester. I put a note in here. It says this is Sylvester the Jester's sound vest and. Blah blah blah, and there's no battery. There's a battery in here like this, but they can't make it work, and they just test it, and make make sure there's no explosives. So there's some guy at TSA going, "Hey, boy, <laughs> yeah, right. They're probably having fun with it. Yeah. That's what they're doing with all your their underwear and everything. They go through everything and play with it. And well, we had uh, pirate Bree, the girl you met. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. travels with broken glass, a whole oh, briefcase wow. full okay. of broken glass. And uh, they stopped her and went to take broken glass on it. So she just dumped it on the floor. Oh, it's great. She left the trail of glass all the way to her car. Yeah, they took this. Take the stupid. You know what they took from me? Your drugs? No, my my cat's drugs. I accidentally had my backpack and I had a medication in there that was for my cat. It was just a. You know, this you know is a syringe. No, it's no, a white powder. It was, it was, it was, it was a Ketamine. malt. It was a malt for this. What is it? Chondroitin, you know, for, for joint pain. Glucosamine. Glucosamine, right. And it was this little thing I would give her, like a thing of toothpaste. Well, oh, this is too big, you can't take that. My cat was really angry. She yeah. loves that stuff. Yeah. I remember I remember going down to TSA offices. And yeah, trying to get that. Back. <laughs> yeah, I gotta try, got try that. It's for my cat. I gotta try that. Yeah, yeah, this white powder for my it's cat. For my cat. <laughs> yeah. So, this has been great having you on the show. And, oh, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for being had. <laughs> and uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, the human cartoon, you'll see him soon on his own kid show, morning <laughs> show. Yes, because that's where you belong. You belong hosting a kid's. I did one in, uh, in New Zealand. No, in, Fuck uh, that. You need one here. You yeah. need that. He would be the perfect, if you're watching this and you see this and you're booking, what's the name of the kid's? The Nickelodeon. Right. What, what the fuck are you thinking? You got the perfect host for your child cartoon show that you do. You know the green slime shit. All he can, he can make that stuff. Right. He makes stuff I like that. I exuded out my pores. So that's the new host of Nickelodeon's new show called Sylvester the Jester's Cartoon Hour. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So uh, and my best pal, ladies and gentlemen, Sylvester the Jester. Thank you very on much. My show. Thanks that's a lot. All right. Thanks for having me. All right. <laughs> We'll be back with more Burn Unit. No, we won't, because this is the end. Fuck you. Bye-bye. All right.